We've got some major breaking news from the Department of Justice that's making waves all over Capitol Hill. This directly impacts the Republicans' investigation into Attorney General Merrick Garland. I'll break down the whole situation for you guys and provide you all the details. Republicans have spent the last few weeks crying about the Department of Justice not releasing audio recordings of interviews done between President Joe Biden and Special Counsel Robert Hur. If you guys recall, Special Counsel Robert Hur was looking into classified documents found at Joe Biden's office and home. Now, President Biden cooperated fully and Special Counsel Robert Hur chose not to pursue any charges which came as a surprise to nobody. Because there was so much public interest in this investigation, the Department of Justice decided to release the full transcripts of the interviews between President Biden and Special Counsel Hur. That is not normally done. And this was an attempt by the DOJ and the Biden administration to be as transparent as possible. But of course, this wasn't good enough for the Republicans who created another problem out of thin air and said, we want the audio recordings because we don't believe the transcripts match what was said in the interviews. And yet they have zero evidence backing up this claim that the audio doesn't match the transcript. They know damn well that the Department of Justice will not release those audio recordings because according to Merrick Garland and the DOJ, this would chill any future participation in investigations from future administrations. So they don't want to release those tapes and the Republicans have no valid reason to get them anyways. They just want to listen to Biden and try to chop up the audio recording to make an edit that makes Biden look bad. And this back and forth between the House Republicans and the Department of Justice came to a head this week when the House of Representatives held a vote to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress for not turning over the audio tapes. This vote went down and barely passed along party lines with one Republican, David Joyce of Ohio, even voting against it. And now the DOJ has responded quickly in the form of a letter to Speaker Mike Johnson. I've got my hands on the letter, so I'm going to go over all the details with you guys because the DOJ laid it out beautifully for these thick-headed Republicans. And make sure you stick all the way through the letter because the last paragraph, the DOJ sent a special message to Mike Johnson and all the Republicans that surely is going to leave them upset this weekend. Okay, here we go. Dear Speaker Johnson, as you know, the president asserted executive privilege and directed the attorney general not to release materials subpoenaed by the House committees on the judiciary and oversight and accountability related to the investigation conducted by special counsel Robert Hur. That directive was based on a legal opinion from the Department of Justice advising that asserting privilege would be legally proper. The president's directive was issued after the department produced materials responsive to all four requests in the committee's subpoenas. The department provided special counsel Hur's report without any additional redactions and facilitated his congressional testimony. The department also produced transcripts of the special counsel's interviews of the president and Mark Zwanitzer, the two classified documents that the committees requested and correspondence regarding the special counsel's report that the committees requested. Notwithstanding the department's efforts to accommodate the committee's requests and the committee's lack of a sufficient need for the audio files that would further a legitimate congressional purpose, and despite the president's directive on May 16th, the committee's adopted resolutions recommending that the House of Representatives cite the Attorney General for contempt. And now here is where they tell Mike Johnson to go kick rocks. The long-standing position of the department is that we will not prosecute an official for contempt of Congress for declining to provide subpoenaed information subject to a presidential assertion of executive privilege, as explained in our May 16th letter to the committees. Across administrations of both political parties, we have consistently adhered to the position that the contempt of Congress statute was not intended to apply and could not constitutionally be applied to an executive branch official who asserts the president's claim of executive privilege. And then the letter goes on to talk about a couple of instances during previous administrations where they did not pursue charges against the attorney general. This happened in both the Obama administration and Donald Trump's administration. 
And then the letter ends with a big F you to Speaker Mike Johnson and all the House Republicans. Consistent with this long-standing position and uniform practice, the department has determined that the responses by Attorney General Garland to the subpoenas issued by the committees did not constitute a crime. And accordingly, the department will not bring the congressional contempt citation before a grand jury or take any other action to prosecute the Attorney General. So there it is, an incredibly fast response from the Department of Justice saying we will not be prosecuting Attorney General Merrick Garland. And this comes as a surprise to absolutely nobody. This is exactly what the Republicans have done this entire session of Congress. Just a bunch of busy work to try to convince their supporters that they're actually doing something. But they knew all along that this was going nowhere fast. And they're going to point to this and say, look at the DOJ just trying to protect Merrick Garland. But they created this problem out of thin air that the DOJ would not release the audio recordings and... Attorney General Merrick Garland had a good reason to not. Again, it would chill participation in future investigations if people knew that these audio recordings could be released. The DOJ went above and beyond in releasing the full transcripts in the interest of transparency. And this additional request for audio recordings was ridiculous from the very beginning. I love that the Department of Justice shot down this ridiculous attempt to hold Merrick Garland in contempt so quickly. Maybe now the Republicans in the House will get back to doing real business, though I doubt it 